The future of the federal Conservative Party, a high-profile contender, has entered the race to become the next leader. Nova Scotia's Peter McKay kept his announcement brief. Just four words on Twitter. I'm in. Stay tuned. McKay, a lawyer and former federal cabinet minister, isn't expected to be the only one in the running. But who else is in depends in part on who is not. The biggest question is around Ronna Ambrose, who served as interim leader before Andrew Scheer took over. She's widely considered to be unbeatable if she runs. Mike Lecatur is in Ottawa tonight. Mike, tell us what we know and what we don't know. Well, Donna, a number of Conservatives have dipped their toes in the pool, but you'd have to consider this announcement as a huge splash. Now, also making waves are the people in the McKay camp, and they include campaign organizers who helped Maxim Bernier's leadership bid and Doug Ford's election in Ontario. Now, the people aren't household names, but they do carry weight in Conservative circles and are a clear indication that McKay is in it to win it. Now, sources are telling Global News that former progressive conservative leader and former premier of Quebec, Jean Charest, is still considering a run at the top job. But today, at least one conservative strategist says McKay has the early advantage. Look, there's always a lot of expectations when a candidate announces, uh, but how they run their campaign, can they catch fire, can they catch imagination beyond uh, simply name recognition? That will be what the, the conservatives are looking for over the next uh, five, six months. And Donna, as you mentioned, one wild card in all of this is Ronna Ambrose. There have been reports that the former interim leader is not running, but a source close to her tells us Ambrose simply hasn't made up her mind just yet. And Mike, there's some news today about former Prime Minister Stephen Harper, who's still heavily involved in the party behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. He's resigned from the board that fundraises for the party. Why? Well, Donna, one Conservative source has told us that Harper was already planning to leave the Conservative fund well before the fall election. We do know that he was unhappy when we broke that story that the fund was paying for the tuition for some of Andrew Scheer's children. But here's the significance of all of this. Now that he's left the fund, Harper will be free to get involved in the leadership race if he wants. And as someone who continues to have a great deal of influence within the Conservative Party, Harper may just want to help shape the leadership of the future. Donna. All right, Mike Lecatur in Ottawa. Thanks.